Yes, it's big, but will this tank tank? Mars Converters Combat Tank. Today, I go to the reviews. Yes, the clowns over at Happy Kid Toy are back at it, this time with a, a tank and a jet, which, uh, well, looks a bit like that. Wasn't able to get a hold of it this time, although they have the nerve to sh still feature Spot Explorer. Whatever that's worth to you. You all know what that's worth to me. Anyway, yeah, you see you have something resembling tech specs here. And you also see a very interesting design choice in making the main turret actually the primary weapon. So, that's how they dealt with that. Things, uh, at least looking from this point, rather solid as there's no questionable engineering. But we'll get inside it here in just a moment to see what we're really dealing with. All right, let's open this up here. A little bit of tape. That's our major. Now, there we go. Oh, here are the instructions. So we do get, at least get those. Same one-page job as normal. Only one side to it, but it's something. See, then we cut everything loose without. Scratching at the plastic as best we can here. Okay, that, 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 that. Oh, and the gun. Can't forget the gun here. <laughs> there. Alright, then. Oh, wait. One right here. What about that? Come on now. <clears throat> Sorry, instructions are just trying to. Oh, hey, here we go. There. And we pop that out. And then we pop the gun out. Eventually. Shit. Okay, give me a minute. Okay, now that we have everything out of the package, it's not a complete floppy mess. It's not exactly the tightest thing I've dealt with, but we've seen worse. Shooting so, you know, a lot of mushroom pegs here. Weight is, well, comparable to the regular figure, so there's something there. So, you know, the gun. Okay, it fits. And it comes out with relatively easy, so we got that going. The articulation. Uh, see, our heads ain't not doing jack. See here now. Oop. Okay, so that can happen, but that's a mushroom pig. Just slides right back in. Now 360 for the uh, shoulder, 300 for the bicep, as well as an uh, impressive curl here. So you're now uh, waist rotation, ball joint for the hip. So you're now past 90 degree for the knee bend there, and feet can do something resembling the foot to tilt, but nothing. It's forward anyway. So that's something. Not much, but it's something. Yay. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna try vehicle mode here. This will be fun. Ah, hey. Packaging. <laughs> okay, that goes in there. That closes in like that. Good. Fold all that together. Like so, and... Oh, hey, it slides. How about that? Actual clever engineering. Put a thought. Okay, okay, that folds out, but we'll worry about that in a little bit. Zink, zink. Okay, yes. This is actually turning out to be, well, not a nightmare, but it's only a bit more interesting than some of the other ones. Which I've already mentioned. Alright. Okay, let's see. Then it shall go in like that. Hmm. Okay, here we go. We'll fold out these parts here. Should have probably should have guessed that. All right, that goes in there. Oh, sure. Come together. Kind of like that. No. 
now. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Fold this part out and in. Bring in the leg. So that's actually very nice touch there. So they are at least trying. At least it's on the engineering front. So they are learning some things. Okay. And this. And this. Okay. All right. I guess they're laying some bits of engineering, but not quite all of them. Okay, looks like that's as good as I'm going to get it here. Now let's. Now this is now for another jump cut. Okay. Wow. That's that, that, that. All right, and I push in here. <clears throat> okay, so that's at least something. Now you should be able to open up these parts. Just sort of. Okay. Okay. So yeah, push that in like that, and that. And then, all right. Then you close it all together. For that. Yeah, that looks right. Looks weird, but it looks right. Well, okay then. <clears throat> okay, so after a little bit more finagling, you can make things a little bit tighter and get something like that. You know. Hey, moving turret, so there's something. A little. It was kind of weird the way that's the hip joint, but that's. Still a bonus, uh, missiles, so, you know, tiny rolling wheels, so it can indeed do the doop 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 doop. So, it's a touch fiddly, but you can at least get it where you want it. Now, hmm. It's supposed to be able to uh, connect to here, but I don't really see that happening. At least not immediately. Okay, so after a bit of work here, I figured out the problem. It turns out that the this part right here, this little tab, there's two of them. One at this end, one at the other end. Now, if it was a little bit further, you might be able to get this thing to connect, but essentially its own engineering is preventing it from being a bit more cohesive. So, there's a problem there. Not as problematic as some, as some things, but it is a bizarre oversight. Oh, and if you pull too hard on these things, they will pop. They will just pop out. They go right back in just as easily, but do use a touch of care, will you? <clears throat> well, it looks as though Happy Toys is at least maintaining its level of competence with this one. If you need a fairly sized tank or tank robot, and you got ten bucks, I would recommend only paying ten or less for these things. They're, they're definitely not worth what the Ross is saying, the 25 for them. Somehow I doubt that's accurate. But if you need something goofy, or a tank, or a tank robot, this may just fit the bill. If you're not, if you're not looking for these and you're just looking for a bit of kitsch, or something for your t kid to just thrash around, well, Probably not recommended for the kid thrashing around. This thing is made by Happy Toys, so they will have some issues there and things will most likely break or get torn off. Or all of the above. But this thing isn't at least making me induced into a rage, so yay for that. Anyway, I'm the Set Wolf. This has been the Happy Toys Mars Converters Combat Tank. Again, I remind you all. Free your mind, free your toys.